Well, yeah, and welcome to today's attempt at a spottle puzzle. This is Wordle, but there are some obstructions in the grid. That's what most black cells are. We won't find out any information about the letters we put in those positions. That's much harder than regular Wordle, because you get much less information with each guess. So today, we're not going to find out a lot about the letter that goes into position three. So let's hope we can work it out by other means. I'm going to start with store. That gives me four very common letters. Surely some of them will be useful today. Two of them are. We get an R and an E, so it could well be an ER ending, but I'm not on hard mode, so I don't have to reuse them, and I'm not going to, because I definitely want to get a lot more information. Let's hope that the answer is not bland by testing four new consonants. We get the D, okay, so it could be a DER ending, but again, I think we're probably going to need another vowel. And of course we're going to need another consonant as well, I imagine. So what do I want to try? Let's let's just march. Let's focus on more consonants. None of those are correct. Okay. I kind of do want to test the A, but what consonant should I try after it? Let's just try it. Scrap. What is the A and the P? Neither of which is correct. I mean, there are still so many words, I think, that use the D, E, and R. So I do want to narrow them down a bit more. Could be wider. Or, I mean, diver. I'm sure there are plenty of other words. So I definitely want to try the I and the O, I suppose. Um, I guess I kind of want to try widow, but I don't want to duplicate the W. Is there anything else I can think of that is plausible? Um, I suppose... I, this is the trouble with going for the common letters first, is that when I get down to this stage, I want to use four new letters, but uh, with the letters that I've got left, that's actually pretty difficult. Um, I suppose I could just try video puts the E in a new position. At least now we'll know if it's an ER ending, and it does test three new letters. We do get an I. It's surely going to be... I was going to say it's surely going to be an ER ending, but the I is not second, so it's not wider. So that is very unexpected. It can't be fried, because the D can't be last. Could It, it could be dried. Is there anything else it could be? Because they do tend not to have past tenses like that, but I don't know what else it could be. If it, the I is not going to be last. If the I is first, I don't think I can think of any words that fit. So it's got to be an IE blank ending. And I think it's got to be drier. That's not a part, sorry. I said dried earlier, didn't I? And I don't think it would be dried, because it tends not to have past tenses, but drier is just a noun, so that definitely could be correct. And it can't be fryer, because then we wouldn't be using the D. And it is drier. That scared me for a minute there, but luckily I just recovered. Oh, the D and the R at the end. That was, they're just so, they're both really common letters to go in that position. So I confused myself for a bit there, but... Panic over, I've rescued it, and that is a successful spot. Let me know how you put on. Thank you for watching, and bye for now.